Next, we're going to work on a client unit test failure. The client unit tests are written by developers to test our front end code. And the one that we're going to be looking at today is a view component, and therefore it has a, a view test as well. I'm going to share my screen here, and we're going to get started. All right. So first, we're going to find the failing test on GitHub. This should be relatively familiar, but we're going to, oh, I'm already there. We're going to come here to this little red X, look down here for client unit testing, click details. And there we should see that under yarn run jest, there is an error. And if we scroll up just a little bit, we can see fail in all caps. And this component in this test, the saved rule selector.test.js is expecting to receive disabled, but it didn't. Disabled was not in this array. So let's, we have the error. Now we're going to run it locally. First thing we're going to do to do that is copy this. Oh. Oh, stay there. Copy this. Then and now again, we are in our virtual environment and that will make it easier to run our test. In order to run the client unit test, we need to CD into the client folder. And then from there, we can run yarn, run, yes. That'll run all of our current tests. There are not very many, and it does not take very long. But we can see, oh, we've got some passing ones. And at some point, this is going to turn, we're going to see a red arrow that says, ah, one of them failed. And that's the one that we're going to be looking at. So here's the save drill selector, disables history icon if there is no history. I was expecting to see the word disabled, but disabled is not in that array. So let's go fix it. And go and try and fix it. I'll give you a second to figure that out. And meanwhile, I'm going to open the saved rule selector, the actual view component. I'm also going to open the saved rule selector test just so we can see the actual test on here. So of the test cases, it is this first one that is failing disabled history icon if there's no history. And we were expecting that the saved rules button class would contain the word disabled. I'm going to go back to the saved rule selector. And what I would do if I didn't create this bug to begin with, is I would look for the word disabled in here. And when I find it, which there's only one, I see that here we're supposed to be appending the disabled to the class if the number of saved rules is one. Hmm. So we go back and we say, if there is no history items without you know knowledge of this um, component, it might be hard to, to reason out, but, uh, I'll work on it with you. Um, if there is no history, if there are no history items in this saved rule selector, the history icon should be disabled. But here we see that it's disabled if the number of saved rules is equal to one. Hmm. Well, this is a simple, very silly, completely fabricated off by one error where we really want to disable it if the number of saved rules is zero. I'm going to save that. Um, if you think you've got it, you can try running the tests again locally. There's a, a note here to uh, not run all of the client tests. So we're going to actually run this yarn jest selector. And that should run just a subset, a subset of the yarn of the client tests that have the word selector in them. And in this case, it is only the saved rule selector that has the word selector in it. And we see one passed. Ta-da! With that, I think all that's left to do on our tutorial is to write our commit message and move on. So I'm going to say get status. We're going to see 
that this is the file that we changed. Git commit dash oh, dash dash <laughs> m, and we're going to say fixed off by one error in saved rule selector. You can write whatever you want for your commit message. It doesn't matter. That's um, up to you. You do not need to copy what I wrote here. However, if you want to write a good commit message, which we encourage you to do, you can check out the Galaxy Contributor Guide um, to see how to do that. Great job on that uh, client unit error. And I'll see you in the next session.